Yeah, here on Xbox, we have actually spent a, a lot of time over the last half year to upgrade to the latest technology from Garmin, meaning that we here at the two helmets, we have a, a plotter from which we can remote control all the electronics on board. We can turn on and switch on different devices and we can control the power. And of course, we can use it for navigation as well. Getting to a middle section here where we have a little more about the technical, the tactical information. So this is for the tactician. On the left side, you have the course and direction to the next waypoint. In the middle, right now, it's programmed to show you the map. It could be countdown, it could be sail performance. And then on the right side, on, on the, the entrance there, you have the displays that shows the performance compared with the wind direction and the wind intensity. This is being used by the helmsman and the tactician. If you take the remaining part of the crew, they will have more focus on, on the mass display where you have what is, what is the heading, what is the speed, and right now, what is the wind angle? This can be changed with the switch of a button, but right now it's programmed like that. But we have four different uh, displays uh, of, of this, and we can switch it. One of the important things also by pressing a switch, you can take it from the night display. So during night, you will have it in, in red, so you can really see it. Uh, you can see out, and you can also see the instruments. So the technology here is the latest technology from Garmin. Uh, a security thing is also that all people during Garmin around Denmark will be equipped with a device in their life vest, so we know if they fall in water, they will go, we will have an alarm, and we will know the direction and the distance to anyone who's fallen, who has fallen in the water. So extra focus on, on security during Garmin around Denmark.